Hello for guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having different kind of food. I'm having um yikbua. Mm -hmm. Um German bun. German bun is a <laughs> it's just not my day today, guys. Um German bun is like a donut, um, but it's coconut cream is Hello for guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having um, quite a bit of different food. I'm having uh, kekapua, there's pork buns, and I've got, hang on, there's pork buns trying to be cheeky. I've got German bun and it's got um, coconut, grated coconut inside, and it's like a donut base outside. And I've got a couple of pieces of taro, and I've got a mussel and coconut cream with um, the imitation crab. And I have some um, prawn salad kind of thingy magic. Pretending to be healthy, guys. Don't, don't. And my drink is Boost Strawberry Squeeze. Mmm. But I'm going to do my prayer, then I'll come back, okay? Mm. It's a weird combo, but guys, I was in a rush. I was in a rush, had everything planned, but things didn't go to plan on their end. Yeah, then my daughter wanted to use my car, and then all this and all that and all that and do all this. So this sachet is a sauce thing that goes over this. Salad thingy. So it's got a little hole there. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, that's me trying to pretend to be healthy today, guys. So, anyway, have a look. It's so nice. I need to do a thumbnail. Okay, weird fun now, but anyway. So it's time to you guys and hang out with me. So I can tell you a story that happened to us a while back. Anyway, I'm going to take a bite of this. Mm -hmm. I got this from Bidwell at home. Cheers, guys. So they sell this coconut cream. Have a bite, guys. And it has mussels in it as well. Mm -hmm. When you're really hungry, this is going to go down really good. Mm. I was supposed to have seafood, but I wasn't told the pickup time was late. So I thought plan B, rush around and find something else. So this is what I found. I went over to Norm's and I found, oh, not that, this. Mm -hmm. People say things about the imitation crab, but I love it, eh? It's got a nice taste. Mm -hmm. um, hold the bright eggs. You know the green thing around the muscle? Yeah. It's like plastic, eh? Anyway, how are you guys going? I hope you guys got something good to eat. Mm. Mm. I like how they chop up the meat real small. 
my bit of sunrise, no tower. <laughs> but the uh, you buy you get from my tower back in when I used to buy it and at sunrise there used to be a dollar, right? I don't know, that might be still a dollar now. But inside was like more fat than meat. But I tell you what man, it was so delicious and oily yum. <laughs> Those are the things I say yum to. I have a shout out today guys. I do, I do, I do. But I sent my shout out. <laughs> Sorry. It's for um, my cousin Rosita, Rosita Boasa. Happy birthday, sis. Mm -hmm. You're 21 again, just like me. I hope you are having a good week. And I hope you have a good weekend as well. I might be uploading this video a bit late, but I just want to wish her a happy birthday. And also to my cousin, I want to say hello to my cousin, Gung Leo, and all the kids. Okay. Avocado. Avocado. My brother's got this big avocado tree outside him and his wife's house in Opatiki. <laughs> it's Opatiki. Opatiki. Oh! A pie to you. Mm. Yum. Look, guys. Mm. Yeah. It's spinach, baby spinach, and salmon, raw salmon. Mm. I'm really good tonight. <laughs> So Desiree and Sharon have a photo shoot tomorrow with um, some of the other um, polytubers. Yep. So she wanted to go and do her nails. Hi, right, good to her Sharon. Don't worry about the nail. They ain't taking pictures of nails. Or are they? <laughs> anyway. I think my daughter wanted to feel pretty, so go and get it. See, guys, I'm eating salad. <laughs> I'm sure you're supposed to toss the salad, eh, but... <laughs> anyway, I'm going to tell you guys about a story that happened to us several years ago. We had just bought our house here. And my husband and I had planned to go and get a big TV and two little TVs for the kids' rooms. So, we planned it for Saturday. So on Saturday, my husband made sure that we had the money. We put it in this thing called the pencil case. And we went out. We went out and I said to my husband, I had seen some TVs at this place. So, that's where we were heading to first. But I wanted to um, get the TV there because I know they had a whole lot of TVs. So... We went there, my husband and I, and mm. and um, so my husband went that way. We walked into the to the shop TV shop. My husband went right, and I went left. So I was aiming for a TV that I had seen earlier. Like, you know, a couple of days before that. The man walks over and I'm looking at this TV. A really nice, clear TV, right? And it's not that small. It was like small, but a large small. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so this young man walks over. I go, hello, can I help you? I go, 
Yeah, I'm looking at this TV. I like this TV. And he goes, oh, you want to look around at the other TVs? And I go, oh, no, I like this TV. I said, do you have any available? And he goes, um, you know, we do. And I go, oh, yeah. So I go to my husband and I go, I found one TV. We're going to get that one back there. And he goes, which one? And I said, that Panasonic one. He goes, oh, whose room is it? And I said, they will go for the boys' room. So he goes, oh, okay, okay. So we we started talking about what size TV we're going to get. Because there was about about four or five big ones. But we were trying to figure out which is the more clearer one, right? The more clearer one, that's what we want. We don't want any of those ones that's like, but darling. Yeah. Anyway, so, so the man comes over again and he goes, oh, do you see anything you like? And my husband goes, oh, we're just looking. And I go, this TV here, you know, I'm asking questions because I like to know questions. And I said, if I took it home, would it be as clear as here or do I need some sort of antenna outside or? He goes, oh. Yeah, if you got, you know, um, um, like a hole in the wall, it's like an aerial thing. And I go, okay, because this was back in 207, okay? This is when we moved here to our house here. So, anyway, so, so I take him back and I go, um, yeah, because I, I was looking, and I'm talking to a man, and I go, can we go over there? Because I was looking at this TV, and um, I like this TV. And you know what he said to me? He said, come here. I want to show you some TVs over here. And I thought, oh, well, he might have some nice TVs, you know. It's good that he's been helpful. And then I walked over, and I stopped. Just before getting in front of the TV, I stopped, and I said, because you can see the TV is like not that not that clear, so I stop and I go, oh no, I don't want that TV. And he goes, oh okay, we'll look at something else. You know that's within your budget. He said within my budget. How the heck does he know what's my budget? Anyway, so I go, oh okay. I already know I've got one TV. I just need to get one more TV. And then we're going to figure out which one of the big TVs we're going to get. And then he wants to show me another TV. And this TV is like worse than the other TV. And then he said to me, he goes, well, this TV, I think it will be in your budget. And I go, budget? And he goes, yeah. And then he looks at me straight. And I'm looking at him thinking... He doesn't even know our budget. So I go over to my husband because I'm starting to get angry now because first he said, oh, here's the TV within your budget. And then he takes me to another TV, which is worse than the other TV. And he said, yeah, this one will be in your budget. Oh, I'll see you. Oh, so I go over to my husband and I go, let's get out of here. And he goes, what? You don't want to shop here? Well, where are we going to go next? And I go, it's that man over there. He goes, what? And I said, he took me to two TVs and he said to me, these are the TV in our budget, you know, like in my budget. And he goes, who does he think he is? And I go, yeah, why he? I'm trying to get him to sell those more expensive TVs because the quality is better. Because my dad always said, you pay for what you get. So if you're going to pay for something cheap and you're going to go home not long, it's like pucker the business. So I was going for more the expensive one. And he was trying to lead me to the more cheaper stuff. So my husband goes, yeah, let's get out of here. You know, they can't treat us like that. Anyway, so we walked up. As I look back, the grin on his face, just the grin on his face. Look at this, guys. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Alright, German bands has got a bit of moist in with the coconut. Yum. Yeah, I love German bands. Anyway, so I look back and he's standing there smirking. He's standing there smirking. What a nice people, nice kind of people to me. They um they're a bit arrogant, you know? Like they probably already judge people by the appearances or stuff like that. Or those kind of people like they they think they're better than the next person kind of personality. And I don't know why they would think like that because he doesn't know anyone. You know, he doesn't know anyone's story or whatever. Anyway, he seemed like a nice guy when you come to talk to us, but when he was saying, oh, it's in your budget, within your budget, it's your budget. No, see, he don't know. Anyway, and it's that smirk that, like, I thought, oh. Anyway, so we walked out. Instead of going right to go out to our car, I said to myself, well, we'll go down, because I wanted some um, hot cinnamon donuts. So, um, Donut King, when you buy their hot cinnamon donut, mm, mm, mm. Anyway, so my husband, slow walker, and I'm a fast walker, and I'm walking, walking, eating my donut, eating my donut, and I happen to look in the shop, because I was thinking about that TV I really wanted, so I went to look back at the shop. And as I look back in the shop, the two men, the young guy that served us, and the older guy and a girl, yeah, so they're all standing there, right? The two, the, the young man is talking to the older man and they're looking at us and they're like giggling, you know, giggling and smirking. And the young lady, she kind of did, but she wasn't. So I don't know. So maybe because she thought, well, I better not push it. That, get, that lady's a lady and she might come in here and, and anyway, I might have, but um, yeah. So I said to my husband, come here. Uh, so he walks up and I said, hold my donut. He goes, well, I don't want the donut. And I go, just hold the donut. Hang on, I'm just going to go in there. So guess what, guys? I march back in there. I march straight up to them and I, and I say, why are you guys all standing here laughing? And I said, you? You were saying, oh, within our budget, within our budget. Do you know how much my husband and I bought? to get TVs and he's just looking like, you know, he, he just caught and wiped that smirk off his face, eh? Hey? You know, I was near like wanting to reach over and pow, but I am a lady. I am a lady. <laughs> so, it annoyed me, eh? Hey? So, I said, do you know how much I bought here to, to buy a TV? And this is the store I was willing to buy. I came here for free TVs and I was coming here to buy, okay? So I'm staring at each one of them, but more to the young one because he's the, the smirker, you know? But I was just, you know, annoyed, you know? So I turned around to the older man and I said, so he comes and tells you something and then you start laughing. Is that how you guys going to treat your customers? There's customers in here right now. They're walking around, but you two are already judging and you think he's known. Okay, let me show you guys something. So I open up my bag, get the pencil case out, and I pull out 15,000, and I said, I came here with this money to spend in the shop to buy our TVs. But this guy assumed, he probably thinks that we walked in here with $1,000. That's what you must be thinking. So I put the money back in, I sip the bag, and put it in my handbag, and I said, you guys might have got the whole 15000 spent in here. But you're smirking like you know a budget. And I said, what a way to treat your customers. And then the younger lady, the lady that was there, she was going, I'm really sorry. I can help you. And I go, oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not dumb enough to spend money in a shop that I've been treated unfairly. Like this guy, I said, I hope this be a lesson to you. That's <laughs> what I said. I hope this be a lesson to you because you already judge people by their appearance and you think that they don't have, you know, the, the money to spend. I said, let this be a lesson to you because 
you know what, you really need something, you know, and I was going like this, <laughs> honest, I went, you really need something, and I went like this, so I said, you know what, Psh, rubbish, you know, if this is how you're going to treat your customers, this shop won't last, I'm going to tell you that, this shop won't last, anyway, see you later, I'm going, and then I turned around to the older man, I said, you're older, you should know better, teach him to think before he talks, so I turned around and I walked out, so this is what I did, guys, when I was walking out of the shop. I walked up, my husband still walked, standing outside, just outside the entry of the door. And I looked back at them, and I went, you know, and I just carried on walking. See, because I allowed them to see the cash in my hand. 15000 that's what my husband bought out so we can go and do our shopping that day. And they wanted to already judge us. They must have thought that we walked in there with, what, 500 a thousand dollars oh wow well, they missed out on the sale that day because we went to another shop and we bought a massive tv and two little tvs you know but we bought the quality because my dad always said buy quality it lasts longer buy the cheap it don't last yeah only good for a little minute you know i never forget that guy the smirk on his face to think that he already knows people in their life yeah, and he's really like an arrogant man because when I w walked up to them and, and asked why is he laughing, he could have wiped, he, he like the smirk was halfway stuck on his face. <laughs> Woof! Halfway stuck on his face. He's very lucky I wasn't in a bad mood because I don't think I can contain myself. I think I'll get caught, the police will get caught, you know, to come and get me. But anyway, that was the lesson I taught them is that you don't judge a book by the cover just because we walked in, look like Highland people, Polly's, uh, assume that we don't have the money. But little did they know, we were there to spend. But because of how they treated us, we took our money somewhere else. We'll never forget that guy. And I don't think he'll ever forget us too. Because if we carried on walking past their free smirks, well, it's mostly him and the older guy, they would have always thought that, mm -hmm, you know, but no, I had to walk in there and show them that no, we had 15000 to spend and you guys weren't going to get it. The lady tried to say, oh, I can help, but mm, after being treated like that, you don't want to spend your money nowhere you're not wanted mm, or being treated bad. You take your money and the people that sold us the other TV, Oh, I talk about welcoming, talkative, you know, they want to explain about the TV and all these other names about what you do, even though I don't understand a thing they say, but it's the quality. You look at the TV and it's nice and clear and you think, oh, wow, you know, that's the kind of TV I like to buy. Yeah, so we got our TV. When we moved to... Um, New Zealand, we took our big TV and um, we offered it for um, Tamaro's brother. Yeah, his big TV. But far out, man, to be treated like that, mm -mm -mm. don't ever treat people bad. Because you've got to think about it. If you have a business, it doesn't matter if the person looks purple, yellow, green, black, white. It doesn't matter. They all got the same coin. They all got the same dollar. You know, maybe some is more well off than the other, but you still treat them well because they could be, you know, like coming to spend money in your store. They could be coming just to have a look. And if you, the way you treat them, they might even buy something off your, your shelves, you know, but to mistreat people, they'll walk out the door and they'll never come back. And guys, that shop didn't even last long. I think it only stayed there three months and it was gone, you know? So if that guy's going to take his attitude everywhere, that's how he's going to chase his customers away. How rude. That's your phone name. Grace, I better say goodbye. And I might have to go and pick up Sharon now because she needs to be picked up. Well, thank you for hanging out and hearing my story about, yeah, don't judge any book by its cover, guys. Don't cover the book by the judge. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, guys, when you see everyone, they're all the same. You look at them like you're looking at yourself. You treat them good. Because, guys, we got enough rubbish out there in the world for us to add on to it. We just be good. Be good, that's all. Do our best to be good. Don't judge the next person unless they come and pick on you. Then you give them an up and down look. <laughs> but I'll, I'll see you next time, guys. I'll be off now. Let's go and pick up my daughter. Take care. Thank you for coming and watching and hanging out. Even though it's pretty dark in here. Even though I've got lights on, it's still pretty dark. But you guys all take care. Have a very, very blessed weekend. God bless.